we are in Portland. I was trying to find a cool um, sign to do this first video in, but didn't make it. Woke up at four in the morning to make my 6 a.m. flight from LAX, but we arrived in Portland, and now we're gonna take public transportation to either downtown Portland or the Hawthorne area. So I'm staying here. This whole trip I am doing with a friend, one of my best friends, Philip, and he is coming from Seattle down to Portland, but I guess he missed his train, so we'll learn more about that. So I have a few hours to kill on my own, so I want to head to this little cute little shopping center where maybe I can get another patch for my backpack and a Christmas ornament. You guys know the drill. So I'm on this bus, light rail, I guess it's more of a train, and it's raining in Portland? I would never guess. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? At least that night. It's so loud here. I'll just talk to you guys when I'm there. <laughs> We made it to our area and as you can see my hair completely deflated because I got caught in the rain. Also, I was just showing you guys like, oh, I'm repping Angel City while I'm out here. This jacket was clearly for Californians because it did not withstand any of the rain. It like full on seeped through and now I'm kind of cold and I feel like a wet kitty cat out here. But we are in the Hawthorne neighborhood, which is where our Airbnb is. So it's just outside of like downtown Portland, but it's a really cute hipstery neighborhood. Count how many times I say hipster in this vlog because that's what Portland is. So I just messaged my friend Philip and he is about two hours out because he missed his train. So he's gonna rent a car and drive down here for the night. So that kind of sucks. But I'm gonna go get breakfast because I haven't eaten all day. And then this street, I navigated to this street specifically because they have a bunch of cute shopping and little gift shops. And I gotta get my patch as you guys know. So let's see what we can find. We got an egg sandwich with ham, egg, caramelized onion, and aardvark aioli, so we'll see how it is. Just finished at Fried Egg, I'm in love. So funny, they had so many funny like music puns in there. Really good sandwich, incredible sourdough, great way to start off the day. So now we're gonna head to Powell's Books. This is one of their satellite locations. So that's one of the very famous bookstores in Portland, but this is just like a littler version. So I don't know, maybe I'll buy a book today, who knows? <laughs> here that I think I'm gonna get, but we might come back later. It's actually a really big bookstore. Really big, and I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, so maybe we'll come back, but I might buy a postcard here because I'll tell you about that in a little bit. I just got a coffee from The Fresh Pot, which was actually just connected to Pal's Books back Oh my gosh, I clearly haven't had any yet. It was connected to Powell's bookstore and I needed coffee, so I got a latte. I always get lattes. Did you guys know that? I always say like, oh, I need coffee, but I always only ever get their vanilla latte, so that way I get a vanilla latte everywhere and I can judge it because I get the same thing every time and be like, that was the best vanilla latte. Um, could I tell you what the best vanilla latte I've ever had is? No, but I can tell you ones I haven't liked and that's something. So we're gonna get caffeinated and right now we're actually going to walk to our Airbnb. So it's about 20 minutes from here, again in this Hawthorne area. And it would have been like a 15 minute bus ride or a 20 minute walk and I was like, I'll just walk it, get my steps in and continue to see the cute little shops on this street because there's been so many cute little shops. I've been popping in to a lot of little gift stores because as you know, I'm looking for a patch. But one thing I forgot to mention is I'm also looking for postcards because I saw on TikTok people will buy themselves a postcard and then at the end of their trip write down like 
their favorite part of the trip or like their most memorable experience while at that place. And then they just save their postcards in like a little scrapbook or something. So I think I want to start doing that. I was like, that's cute. And you guys know how much I love souvenirs. So what better way to document and journal some of my trips more than my patches and my ornaments? <sighs> because I'm crazy. Anyway, so let's keep walking down this cute little street. Look how cute this food truck area is. I can't get over how green everything is. This is what it's like living in California where we don't get nice green lush plants everywhere. <laughs> JK, another hard cut. Um, our check-in time isn't until two. And so I walked in and he was like, can I help you? And I was like, I'm here for the Airbnb. He goes, you guys aren't supposed to come till two. And I was like, oh, sorry. He just sent me the information, but he let me put down my stuff. So at least I'm not carrying around a backpack and another backpack, which is good. Also, did you guys see how lightly I packed this trip? Obviously not because I didn't show you. I only packed a backpack and then just a little small bag. I've never packed that light before in my life. And I know I'm gonna forget something or I'm gonna have to repeat outfits. <laughs> Can you believe? Um, anyway, so we have two more hours to kill. Um, I think Philip is in Portland, but he is returning his rental car. Um, so we're just, gonna, we're just gonna keep exploring and meet up with him later. All right, we made it to the Airbnb. Philip is showering, so let me give you a tour of our little spot. It's kind of like in the upstairs of somebody else's house, but it's completely separated and closed off. So it is very private and not like we're just living in somebody's house, but let me show you around. We have our own little separate living room area with bookshelves and a TV. And then through this door is the bedroom, but I'll take you this way. So here's the bathroom, but Philip showering. And then over here is our bedroom. So we got a bed and then another bed and a closet over here. So super quaint, but it's just the two of us and we don't really need to spend a lot of time in here. So we are finishing getting ready for the night because we both napped. We are both exhausted from our travel day. But now we're gonna head out to either go to dinner, do some activities, maybe a bar trivia night, who knows? So day one continuing. Oh, I hate it when I'm recording something and there's just like a child. Yeah. All right, we're here at Hawthorne Asylum, gonna get some dinner. I got a poke bowl and it looks bomb. This could be the best poke bowl I've ever had. And look how cute our little sitting area is. Wait, what is this? Is this considered paper? Yeah. That was nice. Right. That was William Henry Harrison. <laughs> Good morning friends, it's the next day and we had so much fun yesterday. We went to a bar and went to a trivia night and ended up making friends with this whole new group played trivia with them. We got third place out of like 20 teams, um, probably because we had like 10 people on our team. So it was super fun. Uh, but this morning, Philip and I are going on a hike. Hi, Philip. Where are we going? Eagle, Eagle Creek Trail. So let's go for our hike. Also, this is Philip. Hi, I'm Philip. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> wow. Nature is healing. Wow. There's waterfall number one. Nature. All right, we are headed back down. We've been hiking for about two hours, so we're gonna head back. I think this actual trail goes on for miles and miles longer, but we're not down for a 12 hour hike today. So we're just gonna turn around right here, but we saw a couple waterfalls and it's so lush and green. I know I can't stop saying that, but 
Portland is so pretty. I wouldn't personally move here, um, but it is stunning to visit. So we're gonna head back down, grab some lunch, probably nap, because uh, we're pretty tired. And then we're gonna see what we're up to tonight. So the group that we hung out with last night, they invited us on basically like all of their weekend activities as locals. And so we're like, wait, that sounds kind of fun. So I don't wanna spoil it, but we're going to do something fun tonight. So I'll let you know what it is. Please don't mind my hair. I didn't bring my hair dryer, so I'm trying to air dry it to the best of my ability. But as you guys saw, we went and saw Sean Kingston last night, which was so random, but honestly, it's so fun. I haven't been to a concert since pre-pandemic, and so this one was a little nerve wracking because there were a lot of people in there, but the show was so fun. I didn't realize how many Sean Kingston songs I actually knew, which was about all of them, because he only sang maybe like eight songs, but it was so fun. We were just jumping up and down. The group that we met has been incredible. We met them on night one for trivia, and they've just been inviting us along. They're Portland natives, but they're inviting us along to all of their activities and adventures, and I'm just so grateful to have met them because they've been super awesome. So right now it's the next morning, obviously. I came to Spielman's Bagels and I got a lox bagel. So good. They're actually out of all the bagels except for this one. It's on a multi-grain bagel because they ran out of bagels because it's noon and I guess all their good ones get sold early. So I wouldn't have picked multi-grain. Look how good that looks. Oh. Oh. I didn't know it was cut in half. Um, anyway, but today, so Philip and I are solo adventuring during the day, so I'm just gonna go around, drink some coffee, get some cool Instagram shots, let my hair dry so I don't look like this all day. And then tonight we're meeting up with the same group for the Portland market night. I guess it's a like once a month sort of weekend farmer's market, so really excited for that. But I'm gonna eat this bagel and then we'll go explore for a bit. And I spilled everywhere, my capers just went flying. <laughs> double-decker area that I showed you a couple days ago ended up being a coffee shop so that's where we're gonna go for some coffee so while I've been in the bus um, somebody came up to me and said that they were literally watching my video <laughs> so these are my new Portland friends okay introduce yourself I'm Katie Asta. Asta. And she also is visiting to Portland as well right now, so I'm getting all their coffee recommendations, all that good stuff. I also haven't picked up my hair yet, so it looks weird. <laughs> but just so funny that I came here and she was watching my video, so yeah. appreciate the love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's on drunk and fast out, but it's okay. <laughs> Good morning. It is the next day and it has been uh, just the craziest weekend in Portland. I don't know what happened, but it went downhill quick. So last night we went to the night market very briefly, which was just a lot of food vendors as well as local retailers and small businesses. So lots to look at. We met up with the group we have been meeting up with 
and decided to go out karaokeing with them, which is again so amazing because they just kept getting inviting us out to all these fun things. And we're like, heck yes, we're down. Uh, but then you know, some people get too drunk and it happens, but we had a great time. I didn't get drunk at all, so I'm feeling great today in terms of no hangover. Just so tired because we've only been in Portland for three nights and it feels like we've been here for a lifetime. Uh, but we're headed home today. I'm just so grateful for all the people that I met, for being able to meet new people, and I guess them to like me enough to, to drag me along to all their silly fun events. So, karaoke last night was super fun. Sean Kingston, amazing, playing trivia with them. I'm just so happy we met them because they made the trip that much more worth it. So right now I have all my stuff. I got my backpack and my little backpack, and we're gonna head home from the day. So this is gonna be it from me signing off from Portland. But thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!